Aloha everyone and welcome back. This is Marissa Indigo with Divine DNA Blueprint and I wanted to share some of the astrology and kind of an activation and transmission that I have been receiving um, to work with the full moon in Leo that is coming on Tuesday, Wednesday. We're kind of already in the energetic arc of it and I just wanted to share just some of the inspirations I've been receiving in some of the codes uh, to really work with the astrology. So I'm filming this Sunday night, the 13th. And so really it's 13, 14, 15, and 16 to work with this portal. Really amazing opportunity uh, to come into more of our grace, more of how we want to show up in the world. Um, an amazing opportunity to transcend and start to narrow the gap between where you are and where you want to be on all levels. Um, it's just really spectacular. We've got this full moon in Leo and there's an aspect in the constellation of Leo with Regulus, which is the star that is the heart, the beautiful royal heart of the lion. And so I'm getting a lot with the Lyran beings and I wanted to share this beautiful white lion um, trying to find you know artwork that already exists that looks like some of the beings that I work with. And I'm receiving a lot of also just incredible, incredible codes about Mount Rainier and those are developing. But I wanted to share this beautiful image of Mount Rainier because this is where I am right now is working with this mountain. I've just received an invitation to work with it and um, receiving some really wonderful codes and those will, I'll share those later. Right now it's about the astrology, but I wanted to share the sacred mountain with you, this beautiful energy. Um, she's a stratovolcano like Mount Shasta. And I think she's about 4,000 feet taller. She's like, I think 17 something thousand feet. And she has four peaks. So very interesting. Um, and more on that as we go. But I just wanted to share that from a grid perspective, you can tune in uh, to the energy of Mount Rainier and also the Leo, the Lyran. Um, I'm a Leo rising. So I've always definitely had a, a really, um, <laughs> since a young child, just this affinity for cats and the big cats. And yeah, it's just a beautiful energy. So I wanted to share this white line with you. So thank you so much for tuning in and just wishing you a really exciting full moon. This is some really lovely energy. And I'm going to change um, now into the <laughs> meditation mode. So just inviting you to get into that space to receive an activation, maybe have a journal handy for this. We're going to be working with the energy of the astrology and some of the other codes that have been coming through and themes um, to shed, to work more deeply on releasing and embodying. So very exciting. So um, thank you for joining me and I will see you later on. Aloha beautiful souls, this is Marissa Indigo with Divine DNA Blueprint and I am so excited to do a code share here. Um, some beautiful activations received today and the last few days and kind of a ritual or preparation consciousness or mindfulness I should say space um, has come into my experience so I wanted to share what I was receiving as an activation to do. Um, to kind of schedule, to align yourself with your dreams and your visions and essentially schedule a date with destiny, just taking full advantage of the energies in the cosmos right now. So I welcome you to this beautiful activation and just want to invite you to maybe get a pencil and paper, uh, maybe take some notes during this. I'm essentially going to do a code drop with the astrology and the themes and how they may be presenting for you, expressing through you in your life, and then subsequently share um, kind of an activation to support you in working with these energies and to do kind of some clearing and realigning and really just putting the structures in place, you know, emotionally and affirming our dreams. This is a dream weave process where we can become an active participant in clearing out, you know, taking advantage of the cosmic energies as they present. So the intention here is to provide you with archetypal forces, the elements, all of this incredible storytelling that's happening in the cosmos of which we are a part. So I really like to share astrology from a holographic and evolutionary perspective um, because we are connected to everything in all of creation and 
this is a beautiful way working with astrology consciously like this uh, to become a co-creator of your divine destiny working with the themes as they present so without further ado let's dive in okay so this transmission is being recorded february 13th 2022 and i'm going to share also some of the codes that have come in this day in addition to the astrology to do my best to exemplify themes and archetypal energies and any of these may be kind of a symbolic uh, dna code activation or a trigger or a memory code for you um, for your own path uniquely this is kind of how the symbolism comes forth for us so today symbolized with the 13 is the energy of divine mother the number 13 has been hijacked in the past uh, because of its inherent magnanimously divine potential this is the energetic of divine mother so this energy has come through very strongly today uh, been with us today in a webinar and just really beautiful to see different groups around the planet coming together to work with this energy of the divine mother and bringing in the planet with this and this really has a lot to do with the venus that we're experiencing right now venus invites us to slow down and to connect this is the north node in taurus which is connecting us with the earth and venus together and really coming into the body part of the embodiment process so this whole weekend we have had the moon and cancer which is a lot of emotion we could have been very watery just feeling you know processing attachments just witnessing these themes and being with our emotions then we have gradually this build up right now of the planets of venus and mars and these are some archetypal forces of the divine feminine with venus and the divine masculine with mars slowly merging coming closer together to align on the path and their conjunction where these two planets actually line up is actually going to be happening on the full moon which is in leo so we are in this beautiful arc right now and leo is inviting us to shine there is a very special aspect with a part of the constellation of leo happening right now and this is the star regulus which is an incredible code of royalty and divine grace and an angelic level of divine humanity and again that regal quality when we look at the lion you know when we look at leo so there's a beautiful and subtle yet strong power here what we've been going through the last few days uh, the last week in particular is these planets are getting ready to align for this full moon this full moon is going to take place tuesday or wednesday depending on where you are on the planet we are in the arc of its energetic signature now and it's just going to continue to mount so the themes to review here as these planets are getting ready to come together first we've got these deep dreams that have been revealed to us deep visions you know perhaps very secret dreams and desires that we have held very close to our hearts because they're so precious that we've almost you know don't even resonate with them we don't know how it could be real to make them manifest to bring them forth they feel so surreal and so heavenly that we are not sure in our earthly corporeal experience that all we have been through how they could be possible and that's been happening with jupiter in pisces and with neptune it's all about this these dreams an expansion of truly magical blissful realities new earth all kinds of perhaps innovative ideas as well so there's been these invitations to really kind of go into these imaginary realms and see or maybe review what we've seen before and really truly actually pine for to have in our lives to have in our reality so there's that then there's mercury and pluto and mercury is the planet of our thoughts and communication written communication uh, and connection between others is a, a social energy it's the divine messenger this planet of thought and nervous system and communication has been going through pluto which is a planet of transformation now when we first start working with pluto it's really deep shamanic kind of shadow work that's the first energetic and as we continue to refine ourselves and have done more of that internal work the shadow work and integrating the shadow then pluto can come into its higher octave which is the phoenix the lion the eagle 
you know so we have to go into the swamp and into the shadow and merge that with our light to come into our full radiance and that's when we feel truly so empowered and stabilized because we've dealt with our stuff we know ourselves fully and see ourselves fully and are doing these instrumental pieces of of integration of love and compassion for the self and forgiveness of the self all of these things very deep themes so here we are having these contrasting elements kind of coming up again the last week of being shown the most magical realities that we could have ever wanted and, and what we dream for and have seen and held so closely within of kind of guarding it preciously and wanting it to come forth and then going into the depths of the shadow around it seeing oh how, how could it be possible and in that when we ask how can it be possible we first meet our fears and our doubts and our limitations and our excuses so you may have noticed the mind the emotions going into darker territory to purge so this is all vital all of these different themes you may have noticed patterns of this in your experience and so with this I invite you to think about these these themes these questions you know this is that that self inventory of where is my mind and where are my emotions and what am I ready that's maybe been a looping story you know memory wise emotions mentally thought patterns that you're like you know I'm done with that I don't really resonate with that anymore and it's part of the forming of our story and our identity so it's really using these beautiful invitations to take a deep inventory and authentic and honest look at the self with love and no shame it's about transformation so we have to see it you got to feel it to heal it right all these different ideas of integration so all of this is coming up so that we can embody the lion then the lyran beings are here they've been hanging out mother mary is here we had white dragons in the sky today before my webinar that i shared this workshop i couldn't believe it to see white dragons in the clouds in the sky and I'll put those photos here for you to see. So with Leo, the full moon is coming and it has to do with some of our deepest dreams and wishes that have been maybe revealed for the first time or re-revealed. This is part of that revelation of what is our true identity and our true calling and you know what really lights us up that we would love to have now for our experience. And this involves every aspect of ourselves, people in our lives, the projects that we're engaged in, where we live, this is the dream weave time. So Leo is inviting us to really shine in that, to honor and to own our inherent regal divine royalty. It's a very potent and beautiful Christed energy of the Lyran beings with Leo. So we have Leo and we have Venus and Mars traveling together, all getting ready to come together with this full moon energy to stand in our glory and pure powers is the threefold flame. So you could be working with these energetics. You've been starting to see these themes coming in with your journaling or just contemplation here. And then after that, when you come to the place of peace, seeing, okay, where have I held limits in place or excuses that they no longer resonate anymore? Once we put those down, and you may want to write them down and burn them, have a ritual with them, have a ceremony with them, say, no, thank you. Thank you so much for all you've shared and taught me. I'm ready now to go to another level. And this comes now with the Leo and being shown our dreams and clearing our fear or any sense of blockages around those dreams. Then we come into the sacred ask. And the title of this, the, the theme that came through first for this video to share was, are you asking? Are you asking for your dreams? Are you asking for miracles? Are you asking for your higher self to merge with you? Are you asking for your teams of light to show you? Are you asking to connect with the elemental realms are you asking for support? Are you asking for soul aligned partnerships, friendships, uh, business partnerships, collaborations, platforms? Are you asking? Because this is a really deep layer of asking you shall receive. Well, first, the cosmos with all this incredible astrological activity going on 
are showing us what our dreams are and maybe some new ones, maybe some old ones, and then inviting us to clear any hangups around them, anything that's maybe prolonging us feeling separate from them and saying thank you for showing me so that I could really build this desire. And then clearing that and allowing it to come forth and how we do that is by asking. So whatever our goals are, our dreams, you know, career-wise, anything, any aspect of our lives, a partner, you want a life mate partner, you know, asking for the soul aligned insert here, what have you. And in that asking, there has to be a believing. So partnered with that, with the law of mechanics, quantum mechanics of, of receiving, ask and you shall receive, you also give thanks for whatever it is. So there's a sense of worthiness, and this is where Regulus comes in, the heart of the lion, that star, in the constellation of Leo, where the full moon is going to be, and we're in that arc now. So it's really starting to witness ourselves and honoring ourselves, you know, as a divine being, shedding more of the negative stories about self or holding ourselves separate. Part of the ask is that sacred gnosis and embodiment and inner standing that we're not separate, we hold ourselves separate from whatever until it's time to no longer be separate from it. There are many goals that we will have that are still set at other timelines because it's just not time yet. We haven't aligned, we haven't created the framework. So this is not to say that everything will come right now. That would be boring. We wouldn't want it all right now anyway. We want it in pieces. So what pieces feel the closest to you now that you're ready to claim? And that's that sacred ask. So this is the exercise, just working with these themes. Also knowing what incredibly divine cosmic archetypal forces are at play here, which is really why this struck me as so important to share is that we have these aspects going on with Antares and Aldebaran, and these are really incredible energies in the sky. Aldebaran is actually one of the mythic four stars. There's four royal stars in the sky. Regulus is one of them, that's the heart of the lion. And then we have Aldebaran, uh, which is in the sign of Taurus. Aldebaran is Taurus the bull's eye. So it's one of the eyes of the bull. And then we also have Antares, which is the heart of the scorpion in the sign of Scorpio. So we actually have two hearts. We have Regulus, the heart of the lion, and Antares, the heart of the scorpion. And then we have Aldebaran, which is the eye of the bull of Taurus. So here we actually have three out of four royal stars in the sky. And these are also called Archangel stars. So in the Persian astrology, there are these four guardians or watchmen or watchers, archangels, which are also these major star points in various constellations. And these are kind of the watchmen or the watchers, the guardians and the gatekeepers to our galaxy uh, with all the different constellations that we have. So it's really just really incredible codes here. Aldebaran which is the eye of the Taurus, the bull, is Archangel Michael. Regulus, which is the heart of the lion, is Archangel Raphael. And Antares, which is the heart of the Scorpio sign, is Archangel Uriel. So just really incredible energetics are present here for this time, uh, for us to feel really divinely supported to finally clear out and step up and be ready for some, some big magic in our lives. I was really excited to share this code drop with you all. So thank you so much for joining. I'm just inviting you to just sit and, you know, have your journal, maybe listen to this a few times, enjoy the activational images here. I've had a lot of fun putting those together too, to try to, you know, share the energy through photo with you all and just really enjoy these themes and seeing how are they playing out in your life so that you can start to co-create and feel like an active participant in exploring your next phase for your journey. It's just so exciting. What beautiful energy to have to support us at this time. So thank you all so much for tuning in and I will see you soon.